Here's some data on gasoline consumption in the US. And it looks like if we graph the data that there is a linear trend to this. So we have data on gasoline consumption in billions of gallons from 1995 to 2004. And again, if we plot those, we can draw a line through the data that seems to describe what the data is doing. We also want to find what this model is so we can use it to make predictions. To do this, we'll simply use the first and last years to find a linear growth rate that seems to model this growth. Taking 1995 as our year zero, the consumption that year was 116 billion gallons. And in 2004, or year nine, the consumption was 136 billion gallons. So in nine years, consumption grew by 20 billion gallons. So our growth rate will be 20 divided by nine or 2.22 repeating. Another way to calculate the growth rate is to notice that the full model will look like this. The consumption in year T will be the initial consumption, so we picked 1995 to be our year zero, so it'll be 116 plus the growth rate times T. We also know that in year nine, so when T equals nine, consumption equals 136. So if we replace those two, the only unknown now is D. And if you solve for D by subtracting 116 over on both sides and dividing by nine, you get exactly where we were before and you find that D is 2.22. So whichever way you start thinking about the growth rate, you get to the same place, that the growth rate is 2.22 billion gallons per year. So here's our full linear model. The consumption in any given year is 116 plus 2.22 times T, where T is years after 1995, because again, we picked 1995 to be our year zero. And that was somewhat of an arbitrary choice, but once we chose that, now we need to stay consistent through the rest of the problem. So if we wanna predict consumption in 2018, all we need to do is plug in a T value that corresponds to 2018. And 2018, is 23 years after 1995. So we'll let T equal 23 and find the gasoline consumption in 2018. 116 plus 2.22 times 23. We predict that in 2018, the gasoline consumption in the US will be just over 167 billion gallons. The second part of the question flips this around. Rather than giving a year and asking for a consumption, we're given a consumption and ask what year corresponds to that. So we're still using the same linear model, but instead of being given a T value and asked for a P value, we're given a P value and asked for a T value. So I replace the consumption with 200, leaving T as the only unknown. And now we can solve for T. So subtract 116 from both sides and then divide by 2.22. What we find is that this model predicts that about 38 years after 1995, consumption will reach 200 billion gallons. Well, 38 years after 1995 corresponds to the year 2033. So we've answered both questions. These are the two types of questions that we're often asked with a linear model like this. Given a value for time, can we predict the population, or in this case, the consumption? Or given a value for the population, can we predict at what point in time the population will hit that mark? So either given T, find P, or given P, find T. We've done an example of each now.